Hi everyone, Paul here with Newegg TV. Today's theme is keeping your computer cool and quiet. It's summertime and the ambient temperature in your home has probably climbed up a few degrees. And as we all know, the number one enemy of computer parts is heat. Now, if you're looking for a solution that will both cool off your parts as well as reducing the sound out output of your system, then you probably want to go with a liquid cooling solution. If you're like me, then stuffing your computer full of tubes full of liquid all around your sensitive and expensive electronics might make you a little bit uneasy. If that's the case, you probably want to go with a solution such as the Coolit Eco ALC as we have here. This is a self-enclosed system which includes a pump, a water block for the CPU, as well as a fan and a radiator. So today we're going to try out the Eco ALC in our Newegg TV test bed, where right now I'm running some stress tests uh, to see what the max temperatures are that we get from our current air cooling solution, the Frio made by Thermaltake. Once we're done, we'll plug in the Eco ALC, we'll see what sort of change we get in temperatures as well as noise levels, and that being said, it's time for me to get to work. So the process is fairly simple. We'll start by removing our existing heatsink fan, and then we're going to mount the new water block for the CPU. We just need to take off the back plate and then mount the uh, reservoir and the radiator to the top of the case. So here on the CPU block you can see we have a plastic plate there that's covering the thermal paste. And here you have adjustments for the different Intel CPUs. There's also brackets they supply, so it's also AMD compatible. But as you can see there's 1366, 1156, and 775. And you just pop it out like that and set everything to 1366. So here we have the Eco ALC mounted, the CPU block here. Up at the top of the case I've mounted the reservoir and it will blow air up at the top. So all told I was able to install this. I only needed a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver and the flathead really was just there to remove the Frio because it uses flat headed screws. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and boot up right now. I'm going to let this burn in overnight so the thermal paste can set up and then tomorrow we'll run some uh, tests to see what sort of temperatures we get out of it. So we let the thermal paste for the Eco ALC set up overnight and this morning we performed some more stress tests using our Lynx software. Now, as you can see from these benchmark results, the actual performance of both aftermarket coolers was only within a few degrees of each other. I'd also like to mention that the Thermaltake Frio here has a manual fan control. By turning the fan speed up to high, it became much louder but we did get a lot better thermal performance. Turning the fan speed down resulted in a quiet and almost silent performance, but of course our thermals suffered at that point. Now the Eco ALC does not have a manual fan speed controller, but the fan itself is very quiet and is definitely quieter than the stock heatsink fans that ship with AMD and Intel CPUs. Also, since the radiator is mounted to the 12 or 14 centimeter fan bays at the top or the back of your computer, it gets it a little bit further away from those other heat generating components such as your memory or your video cards. This can reduce the temperature of your computer as a whole, rather than just that of the CPU. Now both of these aftermarket coolers performed admirably and can give you more overclocking headroom while reducing the noise generated by your computer. Also, the Eco ALC is a fantastic entry-level component if you're interested in liquid cooling. This has been our review of the Eco ALC by Coolit Systems. Thank you very much for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.